viewers once again a warm welcome to my youtube channel future midwife today i am here in front of you to discuss about one of the diagnostic evaluation which we are performing during pregnancy i think you got the topic because the last class i promised you next class will be the contraction stress test yes today we'll discuss about contraction stress test Contraction stress is otherwise known as stress test or oxytocin challenge test. Usually it is performed after 32 weeks of gestation. That means nearing to the labor process. The main purpose of this test is we need to identify the oxygen consumption of fetus during labor process process that means whenever we are introducing a uterine contraction from outside how the fetus is cope up with the uterine contraction whether it is in the normal baseline or whether it is in above or below here we'll discuss about the definition of contraction stress test it is performed near the end of pregnancy to determine how well the fetus will cope up with the contraction of child birth the main aim is to induce contraction and monitor the fetus to check for heart rate abnormalities using a cardio tocograph a contraction stress test is one type of antenatal fetal surveillance technique Next is the purposes of contraction stress test. The first one is to assess the ability to cope with the continuation of high risk pregnancy. The second one is to determine the projected ability of fetus to withstand the stress, the stress of labor. Here we'll discuss about the indications of contraction stress test. These are post maturity, IUGR, history of previous stillbirth, meconium stained amniotic fluid obtained at amniosynthesis, falling or abnormal estriol value, gestational diabetes, chronic hypertension, chronic lung disease and sickle cell disease. Next is the contraindications. These are vaginal bleeding, multiple gestation, previous classic uterine incision that means cesarean session, hydramnios and premature rupture of memory. Before moving to the contraction stress test, we need to advise the mother to empty the bladder, which helps to avoid unnecessary interruptions during the procedure. After that, we have to provide a semi fowlous position or left lateral position in order to avoid the supine hypotension. Also, we need to check the mother's BP in order to get a baseline record. So next, we will move on to the nipple stimulation test. In this test, which relies on the endogenous release of oxytocin whenever we stimulate the nipple so in the beginning of the test we have to cover the breast with a warm washed cloth after that we need to apply zinc oxide into the nipple in order to prevent the soreness while performing the procedure so after that we have to instruct the mother to stimulate her nipple by rolling them or gently pulling it. In the beginning, this test should be performed unilaterally. Afterwards, we can move on to bilateral way also. Usually, 75% of mothers will initiate uterine contraction while performing this method. If it fails, we need to move on to oxytocin infusion technique. Next method is oxytocin challenge test. The administration of oxytocin to induce contraction is called an oxytocin challenge test or oxytocin contraction test. A vinyl puncture is done by an intravenous line is established and a very dilute solution of oxytocin that is 30 international unit diluted in 500 ml of IV solution controlled by an infusion pump. It is administered via PG bag setup to another bag of intravenous solution. The rate of infusion is increased at the interval until the contraction are occurring at a frequency of at least 3 in 10 minutes period and lasting at least 30 seconds. The record is then interpreted and the infusion stopped. 
both the monitoring and the intravenous solutions without oxytocin in it are continued until the contraction have diminished to their baseline activity. This is to assure that the oxytocin has not put the woman into labor without knowing about it. Here we will discuss about the interpretation of contraction stress test. We will get the two category of result. First one is normal that is negative test and second one is positive that is abnormal test. So we will see the first one. In case of normal test whenever there is a uterine contraction the fetal heart rate will be declined below the baseline. Then once the uterine contraction fade automatically it will come to the baseline. So in case of positive test that is abnormal whenever there is a uterine contraction the fetal heart rate may decline but it will be stay for long time until the uterine contraction fade. Whenever there is a uterine contraction the fetal heart rate will be stay in the baseline. Sometime it will be increase from the baseline. These all things will be considered as a abnormal contraction stress test. If we get a positive contraction test, this test can be performed after a one week and we can repeat the test. In that test also we get a suspicious result. We can go for caesarean session. Here we will see a positive contraction stress test result with the help of a strip. Here we can see a repetitive late deceleration occurs with each contraction. Note that there are no accelerations of fetal heart rate with the three fetal moment. The baseline fetal heart rate is 120 beats per minute. Uterine contraction occurs four times in 12 minutes. Here we can see another negative contraction stress test result. So here whenever there is a uterine contraction, the fetal heart rate also decline but it does not stand for a long time. Whenever the uterine contraction fade, it automatically comes to the baseline. Here we can see a four uterine contraction which is responding to a fetal heart rate. It decline but when the uterine contraction fade it comes to the baseline. That is about contraction stress test. I hope you all understood about the contraction stress test. The complications and care after the procedure and nurse's role during the procedure will be displayed on the slide. Please have a look on it. So in the next class we will meet with an another episode of midwifery topic. Till that Take care. Bye-bye.